There are two things you need to know about this sample. First, how to hook it up to the translation web service. And second, how to write the code to call the service. So let's take a look. First, to run this sample yourself, you'll need to sign up for a developer account on Windows Azure and get an app ID. Use the app ID to configure your version of the sample right here in translationservice.cs. The developer account allows you to develop and debug your app for free. Only when you roll your app out commercially is there a charge for the service. Next, understand that the sample app runs as a Silverlight contextual data application, so you need to register the application on each client that runs the application. See, here's the registry entry on my computer. To find out more about contextual data in the registry entry, see MSDN docs here. In my case, to make it easy for me, I registered my apps as default applications. So whenever an IAM is received on that computer, the conversation window extension opens up containing the translation application like this. You need to install and register the app on each client where you want to deploy the service. So, onto the code. If the translator app is running, when an instant message is received, this event fires. You can see from the comments that the event gets the contact's name, gets the message text, and then calls another event here. See here that in this event, the author creates a context object of type message context. The context object properties are set, the code verifies there were only two participants, and then calls the translate method on the translation service object here. In this method, the app checks the language of the incoming message if needed, and then calls the doTranslate method here, where the app calls the Azure Translation Service. You can see that the parameters include your Azure App ID, message text, source and target languages, a callback method, and the context object that we talked about earlier. And the callback right here passes the translated message back to the application UI for display. 